Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Ariana Lopez and we are continuing where we left off in our last video. Previously, we created our security groups and in this video, we will create our VPC endpoints and our Route 53 records. So let's go ahead and start by creating our VPC endpoints. What we're gonna do is look to the left at the menu and we're gonna scroll up and you'll see under virtual private cloud, we have endpoints. So we're gonna click on that. And then what we're gonna do is look at to the upper right, we'll see create endpoint button, click on that. And so here what we're going to do is create our endpoints. So the first one we're going to create is for IoT core endpoint. And we are going to name it IoT core endpoint GG version two POC. For service category, we'll select AWS services. And so here under services, we need to find the IoT core endpoint. So we type in IoT, and the one we want is the first one in our list, uh, com.amazonaws.us-east-2.iot.data. So we will select that. And so then we need to select that, and then we can move down to the VPC, and we would need to make sure we select the green grass version 2 POC VPC. And so here, if you remember when we created our subnets, we have two different ones. We are going to select both US East 2A and US East 2B. And when we select the subnet, what we want is to select both the private ones in each of those EZs. Okay, so that is what we have selected. IP address type is gonna be IP version four. Now for security groups, we are going to select the IoT endpoints security group that we created earlier. So that is now selected. And if you want, you can tag it. I'm not going to, oh, it already has a name in there. So we will leave it as is. Now we're going to create uh, the endpoints. So we're gonna click the button. All right, so that is our first endpoint that we have created. This is for IoT core endpoint. And now we are also going to create additional ones. Let's go ahead and create our green grass endpoint. So again, we are going to select the create endpoint button. And here, what we're going to do is name our endpoint, green grass endpoint, GG version two, POC. Again, for service category, we will select AWS services. Under services, we will type in green grass. And the one we want is com.amazonaws.us.east2.greengrass. So we will select that and then also select the radio button next to that service name. Uh, we will scroll down and again for VPC, select Greengrass version two POC VPC. Now for this one, what we'll wanna do is check additional settings. Um, in here, we want to ensure DNS name is set to enable DNS name and DNS record IP P address type is IPv4. So this looks good. So we'll leave that alone. Now for subnets, what we're going to do is do the same thing we did for IoT core. So select both availability zones, 2A and 2B. For the subnets, we will select the private ones again. Scroll down, select IoT endpoints security group. Select that. Policy, we're gonna leave it as full access and then leave the tags as is and create endpoint. All right, so the green grass endpoint is currently being made. What we're going to do now is go ahead and create VR S3 endpoint. And so what we're gonna do is name that S3 endpoint, green grass version two POC. Service category will be AWS services. Services here, we're gonna type S3. Uh, we will select the first one or second one. Now here we have a gateway type and interface type. We want the interface type. So we will select that radio button. For VPC, again, select Greengrass version two POC. Check the additional settings for this one. And here we wanna make sure that the DNS name is unselected. So this will be left blank. And then for subnets, select 2A and 2B and select the private endpoints. 
security group, IoT endpoint security group, leave it as full access, leave tags, and then select create endpoint. We have a few more endpoints that we need to create, so we'll go ahead and create those now. And the one we're going to create right now is for CloudWatch logs. So we are going to call this endpoint CloudWatch endpoint GGV2 POC. And then for service category, we want AWS services. And then down here, we're going to type in logs. And we're going to select the one that pops up. Select the radio button next to that. And then make sure that we, again, select the Greengrass POC VPC. In additional settings, enable DNS names already selected. That's exactly what we want. And like we did with the others, we're going to go ahead and select the private subnets. Now, what CloudWatch logs will allow us to do is if we have logs coming in, we can connect from our Greengrass device and send those logs to uh, the CloudWatch logs service using the private endpoint. And for security group here, we're also going to use the IoT endpoints SG as well. And we will leave the policy as full access and then click create endpoint. Now the next one we need to create is for SSM. For those of you not familiar with it, AWS Systems Manager, also known as SSM, will allow us a um, more secure way to connect to our EC2 instance. So typically we would have hopped onto a bastion or a jump host, authenticated from there, and then went to a server in our private subnet, which in this case would have been our Greengrass device. Um, to reduce our threat vector, we are using AWS SSM in this case, which I'll show you later on in the videos on how to access your Greengrass device using that. So this is why we're doing this one. So here we're going to name it SSM endpoint GGV2 POC, service category AWS services, type in SSM, select the first one, select the radio button, and again, Greengrass VPC, check additional settings. Again, enable DNS name already selected. We're doing the exact same thing we've been doing for the other VPCs we've created. Um, so both private subnets, IoT endpoint security group, leave as full access for policy. Go ahead and create that endpoint. Now there are two additional endpoints that are needed for SSM. So we're going to have to create those as well. Um, they are known as SSM EC2 messages. So we'll go ahead and create that. So we selected the EC2 messages service and we will select the radio button. Again, VPC Greengrass V2, check the settings. DNS uh, is already selected and I'll explain a little more about that later on why that matters. We'll select our private subnets. Oops. And our security group, we will have IoT endpoints again and full access and then create. And then we have one more we have to create and this is going to be our SSM messages. So we'll name the endpoint SSM messages endpoint GGV2 POC. And then what we're going to do is just type in SSM and you will see here, it's the last one. We're going to select that one and then select our VPC again. Just check additional settings. And as you can see, already enabled for DNS. So we are good there. Select our subnets, private, private. Our security group will be IoT endpoints. And then policy full access and then create endpoint. All right, so this is all of the endpoints that we need to create. Next step we need to do is create our Route 53 hosted zones. And so that's what we're going to do right now. To get to Route 53, what we're going to do is go up to the search bar. We're going to type in Route 53. Click on that. And this is our Route 53 dashboard. Route 53 is our DNS service. So what we want to do is create a hosted zone. So we'll click on hosted zones. And I've already got a few here, but we're going to create some new ones. First one we're going to create is for our Greengrass data endpoint. 
And so it's going to look like this. Now, this is the end point for green grass. You can also find this in the documentation. We are going to create a private hosted zone. So this means it stays within our VPC. The VPC is associated with the hosted zone. We're going to, oops, yep, there we go. US East 2. Again, select the green grass. And then I'll leave it alone, create hosted zone. So our hosted zone is created. What we're going to do now is create a record within the hosted zone. We're going to leave the subdomain for the record name as is. We will create an A record. So this is correct. And then what the value is going to be is actually the VPC endpoint we created earlier. So we're going to click on the alias, choose uh, endpoint alias to VPC endpoint. We will select our region, US East 2. And then we would choose our endpoint. And here I'm going to type in green grass to get it to pop up. And I'm going to select the first one. Then click Create Records. OK, so now this one is done. You can see we have our A record. Now we're going to click on the host zones again. We're going to create another one. This time it is going to be for our IoT core. So this is what our domain name will be. And we are going to create a private hosted zone. US East 2, VPC, and then create. Now we're going to create a record. Again, subdomain is going to be exactly like the green grass leave as is. A record. We're going to click on alias. Choose VPC endpoint. Oops. And then we're going to choose that first one and create records. All right, so that one's done. Now we'll create another hosted zone. And this one is for our IoT data endpoint. And there are two ways to access this. One is simply by going to your command line. And um, I'll bring my documentation over so you can see it. So here to get the data ATS, by running this command, you will get a similar URL or domain name like this. And everyone's going to have a different one. So type would be private hosted. And green grass, and then create that. And again, we're going to create an A record. We will leave the subdomain as is. This time, we're actually going to set it to the IoT core endpoint. So VPC endpoint is two data. And again, what we just selected for the earlier one. All right, then we're going to click Create Records. And this is now done. We have one last one we need to create. So we're going to go back to Hosted Zones, Create Hosted Zone. And this is for our S3. So the reason we have to create a hosted domain for S3, but also for IoT Core Endpoint, is because when we created the VPC endpoint, the DNS enabled option was not selected. So that means we have to go ahead and we have to create that uh, DNS. So that is what we're doing right now. So private hosted zone. And green grass again. All right, and so now we have to create two different records. One, we're going to leave as is, and we will look for our endpoint, a VPC endpoint again. We will select the first one, create record. The next one we will create is a wildcard. And what that means is we're just going to add an asterisk here. And again, alias. Choose our endpoint, type in S3 again, select the first one, 
and then create records. All right, so now all of our Route 53 records have been created. And at this point in this video, we have created everything we needed to. So if we look back at our architecture diagram, we have created the private subnet, the public subnet, our VPC endpoints, and we have created all of our Route 53 entries as well. And that concludes this video. Please join me in the next video where we will create our proxy server.